Now the second part of the outline is investment vehicles. Now what are investment vehicles? Investment vehicles are assets created by the investment industry that will help investors move their money from the present to the future while increasing the value of their money over time. Now they, they include securities such as stocks, shares and bonds. Um, they include real assets like landed properties, gold, commodities in general, and the likes. So the first thing we're going to be talking about, the first investment vehicle we're going to be talking about is a stock. Now what is a stock? Now a stock is a security that represents the ownership of a fraction of a corporation. So conversely, it means that the stock owner is entitled to the company's profits in proportion to the stock they own. Now, people always get the meaning of stock and shares. They confuse it. Now, units of a stock is called shares. Units of a stock is called shares. So a company can be listing out 10 million stocks. So, but you are buying, you can decide to buy 1 million shares. So units of a stock is called shares. So um, next time, don't get that twisted. Anytime you are getting stock and shares, they mean the same thing, but there's a slight difference between them. So the next topic, the next, um, the next investment vehicle we're going to be talking about is bond. A bond is an IOU, an IOU certificate that um, companies and government issue to get money from people. Now, let me explain that. When a company or a government needs money, they issue bond. So it's like you giving them a loan, but they give you a bond. It shows that it's like an IOU certificate showing that the, at the end of a certain period of time, the government is meant to pay you or the corporation is meant to pay you the amount back. That's what a bond is. So um, characteristics of a bond, the bond has a price, interest rate, and a coupon rate. So that is a different, it's beyond the scope of what we are going to be talking about here. So what I just explained to you is just a briefing of what a bond is. Commodities. Commodities are real, real assets. We have examples of commodities that are gold, silver, um, iron. These are, these commodities, they in the financial markets, when they take them to the financial markets, when they are being traded, they become liquid. They become liquid in the sense that they, when they get liquid, when on a commodities exchange, you will see the prices of gold, the prices of um, silver, copper, iron, and this, this um, commodities, they can be an investment vehicle where you buy go at a certain price and sell it at a certain price. So there's also a term in, um, in the investment industry, we call it short selling or shorting. So you can short gold, you can short these commodities on the financial markets. When they have a fall in price, you can short them. So we'll still get in depth into all these things over time, but we, I'm still, we don't want to go divert from the main point. Now, is a term in the industry known as short selling. It is basically profiting from the fall in price of an asset or of a commodity. Now, when gold is falling in price, you can profit from it. So most of these commodities and these assets and these securities, you can profit from it by short selling. Over the course of this um, lecture, I'll be explaining to you, I'll be elucidating what short selling is and how the mechanics behind it. So. The next investment vehicle we're going to be talking about is collectibles. Now, collectibles are investment vehicles because they tend to appreciate in value over time. Now, an example of a popular collectible is art. Um, you, you guys should have known, you'll be hearing about the popular NFTs, non-fungible tokens, where you just drop something and put it for sale. Then once someone buys it, is an art, when someone buys it, over time, it increases in value. You can sell it to someone else. Those, those things are what we call collectibles. You can 
coins can be collectibles. Um, a lot of things, old vintage cars are collectibles. Many people buy vintage cars to sell them out later in the future because they, are, they have increased in value. Value is a perception. Most, uh, that is one paradigm shift I want to make you guys understand. Value is a perception. People would see value most, li most likely in this clock you are seeing here. Over time, if people start to see value in these things, you can, it has increased it, so you can profit from it. That's what the investment industry is, pro is made up of, is made for, for profit, to make money. Now, the, the other type of um, investment vehicle we're going to be talking about is real estate. Now, real estate is an illiquid investment vehicle. By now, you know what illiquid, what an illiquid investment vehicle is. And real estate is a lucrative sector in the sense that you invest in landed properties and sell them at the higher price for a profit. That is what investment is. That is the sole purpose of investing. That is why it is an investment vehicle. The last type of investment vehicle is mutual funds. A mutual fund is a financial vehicle where money is pulled from a lot of investors to be invested in securities such as stocks, bonds, real assets such as commodities and real estate. So in general, a mutual fund is like where you put in your money with other investors to work for you. Conversely, a mutual fund is where you put in your money with other investors and send the money to work. So a mutual fund is managed by fund managers. We call them fund managers. If you're conversant with the mutual fund space in Nigeria, you should be, you should know the Stambic IBTC fund managers. They have the largest asset under management in the country. They are people that pull funds from a lot of investors, especially institutional investors, then put that money to work in other investment vehicles. So they basically make use of all the investment vehicles, even more that I just listed. And they just do this by pulling a lot of funds from a lot of investors. Now that pool is an investment vehicle in itself. So in our next, in our next episode, we are going to be talking about the stock market. That is what we are here for, the stock market. We're going to be going through the basics to why companies issue stocks to how to read the financial statements and the likes. See you in the next module.